So I just wanted to update everybody. We do have six horses. Uh, I, I thought there might be another one, but there's not as of yet. Anyway, six horses entered in the Ohio sale uh, next month, starting next month. So uh, I just want to talk to everybody about why they're in it, uh, what the expectations are moving forward. We'll start with the Confederate Cruiser. This horse, it just didn't come back to it. Didn't look terrible in the maiden last week. I think we have in the condition claimer in London. He's picked the win, I think, or second, and should do good. I think he'll be fine, but I am a little disappointed that he didn't come back as good. As honestly, he was better in June of his two year old year than, than he is right now. So uh, that's horse racing, it happens. But what we do moving forward is important. So we'll race him in London until the sale, and then we will uh, push him through the sale. Um, Del Breeze and Del Cash. Del Breeze is just an average horse, much like Confederate Cruiser. I have nothing against him. I don't know much about him. I just know he's not quite good enough. Not the end of the world. It happens. Um, so we're going to move Del Breeze. Del Cash got a little more to offer. I don't know how much. We're going to push pretty hard on him over the next three weeks. I don't want to have any questions about this horse heading into the sale. Is he good enough or is he not? This is an Indiana bred too. I had talked to Ross Leonard the other day and said, if I sent him down there like the three-year-old maiden types, you know, what can I expect? He said, anywhere from 52 to 54. Excuse me. Uh, so 2-1 in the mud. No bueno. Not going to work. No. No, that's not good. So uh, we're going to push on him, try and get him down around 56, 57, and get a real look at, is this horse going to improve, or is this a horse that's just smaller, stable type horse? I don't know. Um, eyes at 10. It's a tricky subject. Don't tell Amy. Shh. Now, I had to put her and of Tom in. Her and of Tom are both in the sale. I love of Tom to death. You know that. Amy loves eyes at 10 to death. You also know that. But neither Philly, until this weekend, neither Philly really came to life. Of Tom, I had to watch her and be very careful with her in her qualifier. And it wasn't that impressive. Today I trained her in two minutes on a windy morning by herself at Northfield Park. Now two minutes is three seconds from being a contender, at least being a contender in the Buckeye. But it was improved. That doesn't mean I'm going to call the sale and say, hey, can you take that entry out and send me back my money? No. Isaac had raced good. Tried in 59. Did everything right. Everything right. But they're in the sale right now. You would have pushed me today. The one thing about the Ohio sale, the only sale I've ever been to, if you put a reserve on the horses and you don't get your reserve, they charge you zero. That is insanity. It doesn't happen anywhere. So theoretically, we could go down. I'm sure I have to pay Sanina at spring payment. She's not going to do it for free either. You have to go down, run the horse through the ring. If you don't get what you want, you just snap the leech egg on and leave. I'd have to pay Spring Haven, there's our consigners, but not the sale. So that's interesting. Uh, an interesting side note. So we'll see what takes place. They're racing on, on, on the first, so we're going to have a pretty good look at them before the sale. And then we'll make a decision. But for now, of Tom and Isaac 10 are both in there. Very soon. Now somebody said, well, they're both, they're both bred very well. Hold on. Of Tom, straight Ohio blood. Yes. There's some dunkster and whatnot are in there. There's some speed in there. But again, I bred horses that I felt put it 110% out of the track. Neither of those fillies do. They race okay. Are they getting better? Yes. Have I ever trained them and said, that horse just did everything it possibly could? Never, not one time. Remember, Isaac 10 was super talented training down, right? Never, I don't ever remember emptying her out because she always had lots. She could always go fast. Of Tom kind of floated along like this could be a nice filly. She was. She won her first start in 58. But we're in reality. We are in 2022. We're now starting their three year old campaign. If they don't show enough that they're going to be effective horses, by definition alone, I can't keep them. And I'm not going to wait half a year to breed them. Three, you know, more than half a year. I'm not going to wait nine months to breed them. So I put them both in the sale. Eyes 10. Eyes of 10 and of Tom are both in the sale. Are they going to go there? I don't know yet. That's up to them. But they're in it. Right now they're in it. 
and Royson's punches in it because he was injured. I don't really feel comfortable rehabbing a high-speed, high-end trotter with a hind suspensory issue. That doesn't mean he's not worth anything. Well, I'll tell everybody right now, he'll bring $15,000. That's what he'll bring. We're going to lose on him. But I think the option of keeping him, rehabbing him, hoping, and then putting him in where he has to trot 55 again, well, that sounds like a problem for someone else. So, um, those are six horses in the sale. Right? Six. Confederate Cruiser. Del Breeze. Del Cash. Isaac Ten. Of Tom. Royson's Punch. Six horses in the sale for six very different reasons. But at the same... Well, not all six reasons. They fall into two or three categories. But those are the horses we have entered for the upcoming Ohio sale next month in Ohio. And exactly why. If you have any questions about why or you want something explained a little more specifically, feel free. Don't hesitate. Feel free to call me, text me, email me. Send me a message on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Those are the six horses we have entered in the Ohio sale next month. Take care.